Hey, bounding into comics could get spicy. Um, uh, X Files animated spin off series gets the chop, will not move forward. I didn't even know there were going to be one. <laughs> this is the first I've heard of it. So there we go. See, I've got to move this again now. There we go. Hot on the heels of an announcement that an X-Files reboot is in the works with Black Panther director Ryan Coogler attached to the project, it has now been stated that a pro- proposed animated spin-off series is no longer scheduled for production. I said, I didn't even know they were going to be one. I only learned about the X-Files reboot yesterday. Uh, apparently it's going to be diverse. You know, looking for a diverse cast, of course. Anyway, the series titled The X-Files Albuquerque has been given the chop by Fox and will no longer be moving forward. And there's, uh, uh, I don't know if I showed it from the back, but never mind, there's uh, Scully and Mulder in his office. Uh, probably when the first meet, that's probably, yeah, probably pilot episode, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fox announced the series as far back as August 2020, which makes the news of its demise somewhat surprising. Uh, did they? I don't know what I said. Announced three years ago. I'd say I probably forgot then. <laughs> I, called, I forget what I did yesterday. Never mind three years ago. According to TVLine.com, Fox declined to comment on the reason for the cancellation, though it may have something to do with the fact that Coogler's new X-Files show would not be produced under that network. Oh, right. Oh, that'll be a Disney thing, won't it? But uh, I should imagine. Anyway, but Disney own Fox, do I don't know. Perhaps this is a signal that rights uh, that the rights to the franchise have been sold, though not yet publicly announced. This is, of course, speculation. The series, which would have been executive produced by original X Files creator Chris Carter, that just means you know he said, "Okay, just send the checks." That's what it means was set to focus on an office of agents tasked with investigating cases deemed too crazy and off the hook even for Mulder and or Scully to tackle an office of agents. So they're expanding, not, not just a, a basement, you know, Scully's basement office with no heat or windows, as he described it. Got an office of agents, which probably mean it'd be a, bit, a little bit like Fringe, probably. That started out as like, you know, kind of an X-Files rip-off, didn't it? Anyway, the series was also designed to be a comedy. Oh, for God's sake. In the same... Oh, they, we're on about the animated one now, aren't we? Really, I'm getting mixed up now. The series was also designed to be a comedy in the same overall style of shows like Star Trek Lower Decks, <laughs> which parodied its parent franchise. Paradise PD writers Rocky Russo and Jeremy Sosenko were originally on board to write the pilot episode and stick with the show through its run. Animation studio Bento Box, Bob's Burgers, Harold and Kumar Central Park was scheduled to handle all art and animation. The original X-Files show ran from 1993 to 2002 and included two full-length feature films. The first one I enjoyed, the second one a bit bab, innit? In 1998 and 2008, the series went on the back burner for years until it was revived in 2016 and later in 2018. You know, I don't think I've seen the last two seasons of the reboot, or maybe just the last season. I thought of the first season when it was restarted. Uh, and it was OK, but I never got around to catching up with all the others. I'll have to look. Are they on Disney Plus? You know, the star version of Disney Plus. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. Uh, where were we? Those two seasons left the story... Oh, just two, right. Uh, so I did see the, the 2018 season then. Those two seasons left the story wide open with nothing in the way of actual closure. Well, that's the X-Files, isn't it? <laughs> the departure of star Gillian Anderson from the series has left the overall X-Files story in a state of perpetual limbo with no wrap-up in sight. We'll just recast... Or just somebody else. When David Duchovny left... For the, the last couple of seasons of uh, X Files, they just got Robert Patrick in, didn't they? And um, um, oh, I forgot her name. And the other one, you know, Doggett and Reyes. Um, oh, oh God, what's her name now? I can't remember the name of the actress. I do apologise to her if she's watching. <laughs> I don't think she is. Her, anyway. So they just had them, didn't they? Uh, with Scully, sort of like there in the background. Uh, offering support, you know, and advice, and becoming the believer some, for some reason. Anyway, the internal shake-ups at the heart of the X-Files franchise suggest the series Annabeth Gish. Just came to me. 
Uh, suggests the series is essentially dead in its current form, which means it has been relegated to the proverbial nostalgia museum. What started out as a quirky, eerie and endearing series surrounding the mysteries of the paranormal has since morphed into a confusing and jumbled mess where the large-scale conspiracy narrative was turned inwards on its main characters. Uh, I'm going about uh, actual X-Files now, because it did get a bit daft, didn't it? I mean, we're all into this, you know... Mulder looking for his sister and alien abductions and stuff like that and greys and all this. But then it started getting into the black goo and and uh, alien bounty hunters and all that. And I thought, oh, it's getting a bit daft now, isn't it? What are you up to? Me? <laughs> are you looking? What, are, are you on telly? Look, you, you're there, look. Can you see yourself there? Who's that there? <laughs> She's looking. She's gorgeous. <laughs> Anyway, with Albuquerque now officially wearing cement boots, there's no path left for the X-Files aside from Ryan Coogler's reboot, which is sure to be a hollowed-out imposter of the original show. Oh, I forgot we are unbounding into comics. Meanwhile, Mulder and Scully will be remembered for a two-season revival that ended with total ambiguity. I'm going to have to catch up with that second season. Uh, damning their fates to the disappointed imaginations of millions of previously adoring fans. And there's uh, Fluke Man, one of the great episodes of the uh, original X-Files. It's amazing how quickly franchises can fly off the rails and end up in the parking lot. Yes, it is. Anyway, so there we go. A series I didn't even know were going to happen isn't happening. <laughs> uh, and I'm not sure I'm looking forward to the Ryan Coogler version of the X-Files, but we'll see. You never know, it might be good. It might be good. Right, let's move on. Um, right. <laughs> 